<sighs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Rosie here. Uh, this is a topic that I've wanted to cover for a while, but I felt like I was kind of in the minority, kind of alone on this, and I'm sure we still are in the minority. But now that a video has come out discussing the Fog Whisperer program and its corruption, this is something I wanted to give my two cents on. Uh, now, this is also about the forums. We'll go into this in a second, okay? But I wanted to go over this because uh, the Fog Whisperer program since the beginning has always been sketchy to me because no, no other game does this. There's nothing like the Mortal Kombat Whisperers or some shit. Like, the, like there's no, no like Earth Realm Defenders program or some nonsense that that they do. There's no, I've never heard of. There's no that COD doesn't do this. Doom doesn't do that. No, like, no one does this. This is already a kind of a behavior monopolized thing, and so it's always been sketchy to me. Uh, but. Now that a video has actually come out displaying some of the problems with the Fog Whisperer program, it's called the Fog Whisperer program is corrupted or something. I, I forget what it's actually called. Go look it up. It's very good. It just came out today. It's a very, very good video, and I want it to gain traction, so I'm not going to discuss its contents too much. What I want to go over is the fact that, like, these people... And these fog whispers, like they should have no credibility to you. Like as soon as someone, but when, 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 as soon as someone gets that title, they lose something. And and like, like there's uh, true talent is like the only exception because he still calls the behavior on their bullshit. But like this fucking company, when they are looking for. And what they're looking for in a fog whisper above everything else is positive feedback. Positivity. That's what they want. They do not care about anything other than that. Okay? It doesn't matter how big your channel is. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I, I, didn't, I never saw Behavior offering Ochito a fog whisper uh, pass back when he was a lot bigger. Why is that? It's because they want positivity. Now, not that that's a bad thing. I mean, yeah, we shouldn't be giving toxic people fog whisper status just because they're big. That's not what well, that's not what I'm trying to say here. But like, the point is, like, when you have a company that gets to define what positivity is for themselves, you'll get you'll get some skewed positivity, like kind of what the what what was being discussed in that video. They let a toxic piece of shit survivor player become a fog whisper, be simply because. Just cause, and then, just cause, like, he's, like, it's, he's positive about the game, I'm sure. I'm sure that's why he got it. Even though it doesn't matter if he's a positive person or not, he's, he's positive on the game, and, like, who he, who's he mean to? Killer mains. Oh, that doesn't matter. Being mean to killers doesn't matter. It's when you're mean to survivors that it's a problem. It doesn't matter about being mean to killers in this community. Because since the survivors are the majority, the majority of the Fog Whispers are going to be are going to be survivors. That's just how it works. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just how the game works. But when they're using that status to bully and belittle, that's where it becomes a, that's where it becomes a massive, massive issue. Okay, and that leads me to the discussion uh, on these forums. When you have moderators for Fog Whispers also being the moderators on Behaviors forums, this is a corrupted place to go to discuss the game. This is a very, very corrupted place to go. These forums are useless, all right? These forums are as useless as a, a wad of paper, okay? Space Coconut just got banned. M Mandy Talks uh, is a moderator on this. This is not a place to be discussing the game. Basically, what this is, is behavior can supervise you like a bunch of kids, okay? They're supervising you. And if they don't give you, if you don't get the positive you don't give them the hefty positive reaction that they want they will ban you from these forums because all they want is positivity which basically just means don't you dare suggest survivor nerfs or you're gonna get fucking crushed like don't, don't even go here this isn't a good place to discuss the game the only time you should go to this site is when you need to read the patch notes that is about it because when they when these this company makes all the fucking rules on these forums so they get to decide what toxic is 
when they decide what toxic is, they will ban you for whatever reason that goes against their own business policies and their own business model. It has nothing to do with the game. It's all shady business bullshit, okay? And if you don't fucking like that, don't fucking join it. When I discuss the game and I make hit pieces on behavior, I do it from the safety and comfort of a site that doesn't have any ties to them. That way they can't do shit. Hey, what are you gonna do, ban me? You can't ban me. I'm not doing anything. I, like, this, there's a freedom of speech that they just don't give a shit about on these forums. They want positive, positive, positive feedback. And if you're not giving that to them, gone. You're done. If I joined these forums, I'd be banned within a week. And especially when, like, what they're like, gonna start making you make a behavior account soon. Like, if, you're, if, they, if they link your behavior account to these forum pages and you post stuff they don't like on these forum pages, kiss your account goodbye. This is a company that will sooner ban its players that clamor for changes than actually fix something. Okay? They, this is, that's what they'll do. They will do that before they do anything else. Okay? I, I don't know how Space Coconut's still playing the game. I really don't. I feel like they're going to ban his ass from the game sooner or later. Because they, they don't want people that talk stuff like that. They don't like people like me. Because they, they don't know who I am or they ban me too. It's not that they want, they don't want you playing the game. They have enough killers. They don't need the killers like me and Space Coconut that clamor for changes. There's enough killers in this game that go, eh, the game's survivor sided, but it doesn't matter. The devs are doing their best. It's better than it was before. There's enough killers in this game that just shut up and do that. Than, 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 than clamor on for what we need to happen in this game. Okay, and so if you want to be continued to be monitored by your behavior overlords and your, your Mandy Talks moderators, you can feel free to post on these forums. Just know that everything you post here is being absolutely supervised by the devs. This right here is corruption at its finest. Like, seriously. This is corruption at its 100% finest and most clear. But since we have a, but, but like, what are you going to do about it? The only thing you can do is be relegated to other platforms. And which devs don't care. It, it's, it's, it's honestly disgusting. And this, for real, is the most corrupt, one of the most corruption, one of the biggest signs of corruption within behavior is this shit right here. They do not care about anything but a positive interpretation of their game. And they can define what toxic is for themselves. Toxic to behavior is anybody that disagrees with them on absolutely anything. Okay? And, and if you're voicing that opinion, you're considered toxic because you're trying to start shit and you're trying to start fights rather than calling out fog whispers and the devs on their fucking nonsense. And that's fucking straight fucking facts, ladies and gentlemen. They will sooner, they will dub you, they're, they're just like the radical left. They will dub you a toxic person and they will call you a toxic piece of crap before they self-evaluate and change themselves. And like, all we want is the game to get better. That's all we want. The, these people that clamor for changes, we're not bad people. All we want is the game to get better. The, the, we care more about the game's health than any of the people that moderate these forums. I guarantee it. Alright, I, that's... Nothing much to say other than that. I'm going to go ahead and go. Just uh, My last thing I want to say is just watch that video. There's a real good story about Corrupted Fog Whispers on there. And there are good Fog Whispers, but all in all, the program is a fucking disaster. And behavior should absolutely axe it, even though, that they're, even though they're not going to. The moderators of these forums should be behavior employees, not the community Fog Whispers and their moderators. That is fucking nonsense. This whole community management was a very, very bad idea to begin with. Very, very bad. When you have a community managers and you have people from the community manage the community, you the, the, the communities are not meant to be managed by themselves. That's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing. Especially Dead by Daylight. A community which is one of the most toxic communities ever and has an inherent majority versus minority victimization aspect to it, where the majority survivors victimize 
and talk shit about the killers and say that they're just weak for not being able to stop a, a giant rush, which ends the game in three minutes, if they're actually good. It's pathetic. The devs should be moderating these forums. The devs should be over it, not the community managers and their teams of fucking fog whispers. Not to think that the devs would be any better at managing their own shit. Who should be moderating these forums? True Talent and Space Coconut should be moderating these forums. For real. But that's a subject for another day. I'm gonna get the hell out of here, lads. GG's. Something to think about and don't post on these stupid forums. For real.